like in Sassuolo. Yeah. <laughs> What's he I've like? I've never been in Sassuolo. I don't know where it is, but this this conversation with him, you didn't care where it was. I said, I said I'm coming. But what what makes him great? Because we see the tactical side of things when you look out onto the pitch, but no one really knows on a training ground what this guy's like. Yeah. He's he's always 150. percent He has always fire. Like there's never a day where he doesn't want to work. Intense. Intense. He has fever. He comes. He's there, and he's the, the guy who talks the most, explains the most, and he wants from you 100% every day. Every session, 100%. Don't joke around, don't laugh. There's no time for that. He said, we can laugh before, we can laugh afterwards. Training is no laughing. Concentrate on the control of the ball, of the passing, of the pace, of the positioning. If your position is, I'm telling you, 15 centimeters off, stop. And then you go here, it's like, what are you So talking? he's screaming. Oof. Bro, this guy, he takes off his pants. <laughs> wow. He takes off his pants. He's, he rips off his shirt. He tackles you. <laughs> the manager's tackling you. Tackling you. If he sees you're a little bit tired in the morning, he's like, are you awake? You say, yeah. He passes you the ball and he runs behind it and tackles you. So you have to dribble him. He's like, okay, he's awake. <laughs> like this Wow. Way. Are you doing that, Steve? No. No, it's just like. This. So if you're 15 centimeters off, what's he saying? Stop, stop, stop. Why are you, you don't know the position? And he said, go there, you do like this. And he's like, what is he on about? Yeah, that's the right position. It's a perfect position because the ball from here comes right there on your right foot. From here, it comes on your left foot. If you stand there, it doesn't come on your left foot because the defender can put out his, his foot to block the pass. Crazy. And you're like, come on, okay. Is and it just drill, drill, drill? Possession, drill. pace, drill, everything. Classroom? Well, Classroom, he shows you everything. Overlap too long, too uh, too late, too early. Timing, timing, I think timing seems a big Ooh. thing. For it. Is, it, is that true? Timing, timing seems for me is one of the one of the biggest components. When to drop with yeah. the number six. six? When the eight comes inside, the timing is everything. The wide man to come in sometimes. Exactly. Was he doing the um, the same style of play now he's doing now at Brighton, where you're yeah. trying to entice the opposition yeah. press? Yeah. Come, you, he, he would, wants you to come. He, huh? If we had teams that didn't press, we were struggling. Because you have to play wide and then wait and come and like find the hold. When they came press, he was like, Ooh, he was happy. He was like, yeah. come press, please. What, what is his move for a team that just sits? Yeah, you play wide. So he would he would adapt, he would change the formation right away. Play five in the back with two wide players who just stays on the line to open them up. Then he would play two strikers, one who drops, the other one who just... Uh, he done that against United. That's yeah. what he done against United. So he, he plays two strikers, one who's going to drop, the other one who's going to uh, keep the defenders in the back. So he doesn't want the other uh, striker to get the ball. He doesn't want, he just drops the defender. So there's a little gap in the middle. Hole. He done it with, uh, with uh, actually, uh, Welbeck was dropping as a 10 and Lallana. I Welbeck think. was everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, so he just adapts for every situation and he's just a cycle, like a positive cycle. He will sit with you at dinner and he will not talk to you. He will just think about the game on Saturday. The best coach you had? Best coach ever. Man, best man coach. Clock. Best he had clock. person ever. Did like, you know? A person. Did you know by then that you thought this guy's destined for greatness? Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. I told, I told him. As Brighton. I told, no, I, he will, <laughs> he will go manage the biggest clubs in the world, and he's going to win the Champions League. You keep saying sitting next. Wait, wait, wait. I don't think you guys just heard what he said. Say it again, please. He's going to train the biggest, manage the biggest teams in the world. He's going to win the Champions League. Everything. I wouldn't be surprised. It's not. I'm not surprised either, either. But I he's, think it's important. If he would be coaching out of Arsenal, Man United, pff, bro, different, different. They will be flying. I think go. City going to try and get him. You reckon? DNA. Yeah. He would give them a winning DNA, getting better every day. Especially yeah. if Pep likes I, I, him. I would take him. I, I, I love him because uh, what, the best people bring something new we ain't seen. Mm. Like we talked about transcending, transcending the game, like Pep, the way he's done it. Klopp brought something which was an energy that, and an aggressiveness that we hadn't seen for a while. Mm. We can go through all the managers have done it. This guy's another, some, he's got, I think he's got the potential to do that type of stuff because he's so... He's so thought provoking. Like he's saying, he's making players think. He's 32, experienced so much. He's still making him think and see new pictures. He's, he's doing that with, he's making players that seemed okay, decent, average, yeah. look like world beaters at times. Yeah. Look at the 11 that they just mop United up with. Yeah, but then the 11, the game before that was very different to that 11. He's just, yeah. he's rotating, rotating players, rotating goalkeepers. Even the goalkeepers. Yeah, he's rotating the goalkeepers you know before he's, how he's, Arteta. How, yeah. how he's doing like transfers? A data he looks at the player exactly what he needs hmm. like you can offer him now Saka 
And if it doesn't fit to what, how he wants to play, he doesn't take him. Yeah. No, thank you. Is it, that's what I mean. That's the difference as well. He's, he's saying, these are what I need. That, 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 that. And I don't care what the name is. Where is he from? Exactly. Oh, he's from Ecuador. It's Division two. Oh, I'll take him. Yeah. Matoma was studying. <laughs> like, Jer Jeremy Boga. You know Jeremy yeah, Boga? Yeah, he used to be at Chelsea. Yeah. yeah, he brought him in from, so no one knew him, nothing. He needed that player just to dribble, to get the, the left, uh, right back. So the other one can overlap. He just, I need this guy. He put him on the line, stay there, don't move. Rio Kettle's in now. Just yeah. talk to him, man. <laughs> We're going to break.